The way I next chair announced Tinubu as president elect when Nigerians were sleeping is fraud. Dino Melaye has said again. That is true. Okay. Everything Anek did about this election has been at night. First of all, um, from around 4 p.m. of that day, uh, that February 25, they switched off the server and then brought it back online again after 10 at uh, close to midnight. Okay. Over six hours, server was down and the guys with the BBS at the polling unit could not upload the election outcome. Very frustrating. And they are now coming out to tell us that they had glitches. After glitches, they said people came to hack. After hacking, they are just saying so many things that do not uh, actually add up. So now, at the end of the day, they went and then announced Tinubu as winner at about 4 a.m. at night when people, when Nigerians were already sleeping. They had waited and waited and waited and then just went to sleep. And then before you knew it, they announced the winner at night. So Dino Melaya is saying, <laughs> the way INEC announced Tinubu as president-elect when Nigerians were sleeping is actually fraudulent. That is what he's saying. Let's see what he has to say to elaborate this. <laughs> Tinubu, I mean, uh, Melaya the clown. Dino Melaya, the spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party Campaign Council, has accused the chairman of the Independent Electoral, Electoral Commission, INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, of committing electoral fraud. And that is true. Malaye expressed his views in a Twitter post claiming that Yakubu's announcement of Bola Tinubu as the president elect of the All Progressive Congress in the middle of the night while Nigerians were sleeping was an act of electoral fraud. And that is true. That is absolutely true. Malaye went on to criticize Yakubu's competence, calling him a professor of electoral history. And electoral theft and stating that he should be retired from his position okay he claimed that the way yakubu behaved during the announcement of the election results last wednesday was evidence of his incompetence and unsuitability for his position and according to melaya yakubu's hasty and desperate announcement of tinubu as the winner when nigerians were sleeping was a clear indication of electoral fraud he concluded by stating that Yakubu's behavior was typical of someone who needed to retire from his position, suggesting that he had collected enough benefit from it, not be a small thing. Actually, Yaku Mahmoud Yakubu has collected enough, more than enough, okay, more than enough, more than enough, more than enough. So the way he announced that election when Nigerians were already sleeping was actually fraudulent. That is the truth. It's like he didn't want to do it at the daytime so that people would not protest immediately he announces. So he waited till night so that by the time people wake up and put themselves together, he would have done what he needed to do and reinforce security around himself for his own safety. Quite unfortunate. And you cannot announce um, election outcome, you announce a winner when input is still coming from the polling unit into your database. You have not finished collating reports, you are announcing a winner. What a fraudulent act. What rubbish is that? Yeah? Taking, doing everything in a very uh, secret and fraudulent manner. So that guy actually frustrated our electoral system. And it's because he who pays the paper, they take the tone. Both Tinubu and APC government are the people that nominated him there and uh, paid him. And the people still paying him. And he now is proven that he's working for them. Quite unfortunate. At the expense of all... 200 million or over 250 million Nigerians. Mahmoud are just taking everybody for a ride and expecting to do to, to continue like that without anything happening. Eh? So how can we continue like this? How can Nigeria exist like this? Quite unfortunate. So Melaye has been shouting from the one. I think he was even the only person that shouted from the National Coalition Center at Abuja when he saw what Mahmoud Yakubu was trying to do and he shouted in that uh, collision center, okay? And he caused uproar and drew the attention of Nigeria of what Mahmoud is doing, um, you know, to, to orchestrate the winning of the APC candidate, Bola Tinubu, 
which is actually at the expense of all Nigerians that trooped out to vote, um, to, to be able to get a new government. Okay? And um, <coughs> of all the things that happened, of all the promises they made before the election, how they were going to conduct free and fair election, even when he went to Chatham House in London, he made all forms of promises and made all forms of affirmations that they were ready for election. All of that, we didn't see even 10% of all of that uh, outcome in this election that just passed. Okay, so now, now we can't trust ANEC anymore. We can't trust the security system anymore. We can't trust anybody coming from APC anymore because they are all the same. They are all the same. There are just some analysts who are saying that going forward, if Nigeria must be good, all right, the executive must not be appointing who should be CBN governor, who should be uh, INEC chairman, who should be who, anybody that is going to occupy uh, any federal parastata, okay? Who should be the, uh, what do they call them, national security advisor. There are some roles that just need to be elected, done by election. And one of it is INEC chairman. The other one again is uh, is uh, B C J N, Chief Justice of Nigeria, okay, and that one against Attorney General general the Federation. All those positions should come by election or by hierarchy and not by political appointment. Because that political appointment is where we are getting it wrong, okay. They will appoint their loyalists and then use them to do dirty jobs. Quite unfortunate. <coughs> Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. So Dino Melaye has come out now to say <laughs> the way Mahmoud Yakubu, the Anna chairman, announced the winner of the election actually at night is laughable, is uh, an indication of electoral fraud. Okay? And actually, he didn't need to do that. That is, the Anna chairman didn't need to announce uh, uh, the winner in the haste when results. We're still coming from the polling unit in a very hard way over the night. So that shows that he must have been paid off, he must have been bought over by the APC government, and, uh, you know, um, he is working according to their dictates. And then the confidence in Ubu had, even Atiku had that, that, you know, that they have the money and then they can buy whatever they want to buy. Initially, say, they started this cash crunch and, uh, and the narrative from CBN and and, uh, and uh, Buari is that they want to disenfranchise vote buyers, those people that want to use cash. APC, most politicians, uh, they had already heaped cash, okay, that they were going to use to buy vote during the during the election, and so they said they were doing a redesign to be able to frustrate that effort. But then we didn't see how that happened, how that uh, helped the election because the guys still bought. They are, they are bought, still bought their vote. They started giving us some gift items. Even uh, was not FFK of uh, APC said that no matter the Nara cash crunch or Nara design policy, if they want to buy vote, they will still buy vote. At worst case, they will buy the vote with the dollars. And we saw dollars on the street. After all, the, a sitting member of House of Rep in River State was caught with about $500 million. Uh, uh, dollars. Or five hundred, is it five hundred thousand dollars? Not million, five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and he was going to had a list of the personnel that he was going to go and buy off, including the resident INEC commissioner in uh, River State. So all of this thing about Naira uh, cash crunch didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. So Mel Melaye is laughing at. Uh, <laughs> I next chairman here is saying he needs to retire. He's talking like somebody that needs to retire and needs to retire before he will set Nigeria ablaze. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment.